This is Brian, Atlanta Hot Tub Center and Tub Talk 101. And today I have a special treat for you. I have Diamond Dallas Page with us here today. First things first, I want to thank you for choosing us, purchasing a hot tub from us. Thank you very much. And I just want to ask Mr. Page a few questions. Guys, if you don't know who Diamond Dallas Page is, you might live under a rock, but no, I'm just kidding. But ultimately, he um, was a professional wrestler for many, many, many years and uh, very successful. So, um, Mr. Page, what led you to Atlanta Hot Tub Center? Well, first off, I mean, I literally checked every single hot tub place that was out there. I mean, every single one. Uh, my wife and I got on a, I said, let's just go out and, and check them all. And to be perfectly honest, I wasn't really impressed until I got to your place. And what's Thank the first name of the server knows? The name of your uh, hot tub place? Atlanta Hot Tub Center. Atlanta Hot Tub Center. Uh, I was I wasn't impressed until I saw the Sundance Spa, and Dusty was in there, and he was with someone at the time, and uh, I was just checking them all out, and I kept like, wow, this one's different. And then I saw the way there was no moving parts, yeah. because I I want to be massaged in a hot tub. I just don't want the Absolutely. water shooting out at me, and I'm looking I'm like, how the hell is that doing? You know, how right. is it moving like yeah. that? with no moving parts. And uh, Dusty's like, put your arm in there, feel it here, go yeah. here. Yeah. And uh, I was I was really impressed, not just with you know him, because he was very personable and was there, and no pressure, uh, whatever you want. But as soon as he started you know, letting me see the inner workings of this spa, I was like, man, done, let's do it. Awesome. As you remember, this awesome. been the, that's the right. fourth place I've been yeah, to. Right. So, yeah. and I was there to buy something. I wasn't yeah. there to look, but I was there to look because if I don't see something I right. want, of course, then I don't get it. And my whole life, like again, I wrestled. I just started wrestling until I was thirty-five. Yeah. My career didn't take off until I was forty. Gotcha. That was in nineteen ninety-six. Gotcha. So all that time you were watching me and Dusty was watching me, I was in. When I was on top. I was in my forties. Yeah. So I have always been about holding back the hands of time. You know, what I call preventative maintenance. I'm the first guy to ever ice his body in professional wrestling. For five years I was yeah. doing it, no one yeah. did it. Then they brought in trainers, you know, guys to you know, tape you up and you know, right. make sure if you get injured, they can start to heal you. Uh, then nobody had them back then. And so now, <laughs> trainers yeah. put ice on the shoulder, yeah, ice on the knees, right. on, on the elbows, wherever. And uh, for me, I was always looking for that. So if I'm gonna get in a, you know, a, a hot tub, I wanted to do more than just be hot. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, you want the hydrotherapeutic value of it. And, right? and, and there really is a lot of great value. And for me personally, I do like cold tub, hot tub, cold tub, yeah. and I want one that's gonna be this hot. Because this, this baby warms up. Absolutely. And it's my wife, my wife really loves the, uh, the, you know, the bed part here, so she can lay back. Cause she's, my wife's a, a former, like she was a, a professional athlete too. She was a, uh, uh, she wrote, ran yeah, hundred mile races. She, she mentioned that to me when I came down, and she just said, I absolutely love it. Yeah, so I mean, I'll show you some pictures. She chimed. Uh, she she uh, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, really? That's Mount cool. Fuji. Sweet. She's been to the base camp at Everest, which is seventeen thousand yeah. feet. Yeah. Uh, but she's climbed just about every fourteen or. You know, fourteen thousand feet uh, mountain in this country That's cool. and other countries yeah. too, but uh, you know, for her, she still loves to run and yeah. you know loves to get in there and, and, and loves to uh, well and, work and, out. And, and, and for that kind of training, right? I mean, you need something like that, right? Yes. You need something that's really going to help you to recover after those strenuous workouts, right? Oh, 100 percent. And that's just and that's just in there. You know, we do DDP yoga, which is really can. Those workouts start off in bed. I want to I want to touch on that, right? Because I think it's very, very, very cool. So DDP yoga, right? So how does that work? I'm the guy who wouldn't be going dead doing yoga the first 42 years of my <laughs> life. But like I said, my career took off when I was 40, yeah. which was in '96, '97, '98. I was on top of the world. Yeah. I just signed a multi-million-dollar three-year deal, and then I took a bump from Kevin Nash, his power bomb. It wasn't Kevin hurting me. It was all of the bumps that I had taken yeah, over, over the those years, last from 35 long, to 42. Yeah. And it was a straw that broke the camel's back. And what I did is I ruptured L4 and L5. Oh, man. 
And at that time, I was still married to Kimberly, and she was like, baby, try yoga. I'm like, I ain't doing yoga. And, and she bullied me into it because if I didn't get back in the ring in less than six months, then my contract would have been gone. There was no oh, gotcha. payout or any of that. Gotcha. So, and I just signed a damn Right, thing. so you're trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, and I was doing rehab. Because yeah. I've rehabbed both shoulder surgeries, both knee surgeries. Yeah. So I just started, I, I started doing the yoga. And, you know, in the beginning, I couldn't do any of the moves. There was no modifications, but I had to figure them yeah, out. And I'm a figure it out guy. And uh, within three weeks, I started feeling a significant difference. Now, like I said, I'm still doing rehab. At the time, what I did is I mixed the yoga with the rehabilitation techniques. Yeah. Like, people go to rehab, and then if they're doing DDP yoga, or I call it DDPY yeah. now, so people don't call it just yoga, because right. it's not. It's rehab, it's yoga, it's old school calisthenics. And it's something I call dynamic resistance, which is time under tension. Like you're lifting weights, pulling three, yeah. two, one, yeah. deep breath in and pushing three, two, one. So, I mean, you can yeah. see my arms. Like right. I, I train, I train hard, but the workouts in the beginning were like in a chair for me, using a chair to get up and get down because my back was shot, man. So yeah. I have, Bed flex in a bed, chair for sitting in a chair, yeah. uh, stand strong using a chair. That's what I was doing, using a chair to help me get it. And I was shocked how much the yoga was helping me. And then when I put it together with a rehab, I was like, wow, okay, I'm onto something. And then I added in the old school calisthenics over time, and then the uh, the, the time under tension, what I call dynamic resistance. Yeah, so you, did, you, you just didn't study, hey, I want to do yoga, right? I mean, you ultimately kind of went through all of this, right? Which kind of led you to yoga, how you use yoga, and you said, hey, this is working for me. And then you said, look, but now not I can just, others, right? I mean, that's, that's But that's not cool. just yoga, though. Yeah, of It's course. all of those it's things. Like, people will go do rehab, yeah. and go, wait a minute. I do, I did all this stuff for DDP yoga. I can, I could just do that. Yeah. Because <laughs> they charge you after the right. insurance stops oh, paying you. Yeah, of course. And it's always at a point where. And it's not cheap. Yeah, it's not cheap. <laughs> and it's expensive. always at a point with the rehab. The rehab, yeah. like, you need more. Yeah. yeah. And that's where. Of course. And anybody want to check it out, just go You to, have to continue and continue. Yeah, continue yeah you got it. Right? Once, once you, you injure yourself, as you get yeah. older, once you injure yourself, you got to keep doing, you got to stay mobile. Yeah, so to. anybody's watching, you, you can go to ddpy.com or yep. ddpyoga.com. Seven days free to try it. Hey, if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, don't do it. Because, you know, I always say... If and you don't work, forget, you need a Sundance hot tub to go with that because that's how you're going to recover. A hundred percent, man. I've been I've been a hot tub man all my life. But what, with the normal hot tubs that are out there, they've got the components. So next thing you know, the thing is spinning stop spinning yeah you lose the you know, then, value right right yeah. you don't get that with this the thing i loved about sundance was that there were no moving components yet i still was getting that massage technique yeah that i oh, wanted yeah. in there so you know go to atlanta hot tubs right yep atlanta hot tubs I, center. go to atlanta hot tub center and uh check my boys out over there because i guarantee you it'll be the best hot tub place you will find man that's really really appreciate you saying that that's nice of you. This is Brian, Atlanta Hot Tub Center, and Diamond Dallas Page. Thank you very much. Bang! Bang! <laughs>